I started on my healing journey, I met loads of narcissists. And because I have dealt with them for a very long time, it's very easy for me to spot them. So in this video, I'm going to give you 10 clear signs how you can spot a narcissist. So the sign number one, they're going to spam you with some likes and attention or telling you how much they love you and how much they miss you. And by the way, you can check my previous video. Uh, they text you, they love you. You will have the perfect explanation of how they do that. You will notice that when you have a conversation with them, it won't be, they won't be possible to have this conversation for more than two minutes. Okay, because they have this lack of attention. Number three. They won't be able to actually have a very deep conversation with you because they will be also texting some other uh, people at the same time that they actually uh, texting or talking with you. Okay, you see, they can't only uh, value the presence of one person at the time. They need to be dealing with loads of person at the same time. Number four. So what I said previously, they are going to find very, very hard to have a deep conversation with you. And most of the time, what uh, they will tell you doesn't make any, any sense. Meaning you won't be able to have a very deep and interesting conversation. If you ask them a question, they won't be able to give you a clear answer because their brain is so foggy that they will not even be able to understand your question. Number seven, they are super stingy. You will not be able to borrow any money from them or ask them for some money for the simple reason that they are unable, unable to invest any money on themselves. Apart from anything material, they will not be able to invest anything to self-improve or to, uh, let's say, to rectify their miserable life. Number eight, everything is due to them. So even if you give them something free, they will think that it's actually uh, normal and that you owe them. By definition, you see the narcissist see himself like a, a victim that people had put a curse on him. So if you give them something, if you offer them some, uh, some, like, let's say, free advice or anything, anything that you give them, they will think that it's normal and they will take it without expressing any signs of gratitude or kindness. Number nine, they are usually addicted to something. So it could be alcohol, it could be sugar, it could be sex as well. They always have this tendency to uh, obsess over something uh, to regulate their own emotions. And number 10, they need to be surrounded by successful people to feel better about themselves and their complete uh, loser's uh, life, basically. They will need to be uh, close to somebody that has more money. And on top of that, they will actually be uh, jealous of these people. So they will need some constant supply to feel better about their own miserable existence, but they will also need to glue over people that are successful to feel much better about their own miserable existence. So I hope it helps. If you know somebody like this, please don't hesitate to share my video to them, okay? Because we really need to wake them up. If you want more information to book a therapy class with me, and I will be able to assess you. Work, we can work things out together. We can start negotiating your best life full of entertainment and happiness and freedom. The link is in my bio and thank me later. Namaste.